My name is Susan Arup, and I work in disability activism and social justice for close to 35 years. Mm -hmm. And recently, I went I, I went to jail for fighting for the Disability Integration Act, which would expand community services and make it a right. It's a civil right for us to have our services. And we got 215 sponsors right now in the house, and we're hoping to get a hearing for that. And I got arrested twice in one day because we were at the different offices in the Capitol because we were trying to get legislators to sign on. And that was an effort to get the state legislature to pass a law protecting federal, the rights of people with disabilities? Federal. federal. Yeah. So if it's federal, that means all the states have to follow it. Mm -hmm. Right now, every state has its own thing. versus community-based mm -hmm. services like housing and home service. I work with some people, I have a ministry with some people with disabilities, uh, blindness, and some motor disabilities in Nicaragua. What would you say is the key thing for people to be able to keep up their sense of who they are and the sense of their rights, their dignity? Just know that, know that you're not alone and everyone has a voice and your opinion counts every day that we're visible people with disabilities all types is a is a better day because i i will not i will not rest until we get more services and so disability doesn't have to be a stigma. It's a part of who we are. And I think everybody has a voice. And my mind goes, nothing, ab nothing about me without me. And would you say that a basic right that people are struggling for, I think you've mentioned it, is the right to live in society, but with the assistance in some ways that you would need. Yeah. But the right to live on your own where you want to in a, and, in a apartment and, or something. And Ed, Ed did that. Mm -hmm. He was living where he wanted to live for the most part. Mm -hmm. And I also want to encourage people with disabilities to become involved. Your voices matter. You, you talk to yourself about doing a ministry. 
Well, I also have a degree in ministry, and I'm trying to break down barriers within the churches to hire people with disabilities in leadership roles or in roles within the church so that, so that I can put my social justice activism along with the ministry part because I think if if we get more people involved in the community, our community is stronger. I have the pleasure of interviewing Scott Nance, who is a member of Access Living. I'm surrounded by people who are not valued in society, mm -hmm. and and I love it. This is my community. I I, mm -hmm. I identify as being disabled. I'm proud of that. Uh, I'm frustrated by it. Um, I'm frustrated by the response to it by mm -hmm. the outside world. And I would tell anybody who is going to leave this conversation with anything, it would be that disability is not the tragedy. It's when we're denied our rights and our dignity and choice. Mm -hmm. That's the tragedy. And do you feel that uh, an organization like Access Living and ADAPT, or probably other organizations too, provide an important sense of community for people? So if you come together, you begin to feel better about yourself, and especially then when you're struggling together to gain something, this helps a person to believe in himself or herself? I hope so. Mm -hmm. I, I know that we strive to to make a space that's inclusionary for everyone, uh, and I know that even within the disability community, we fail because we're still relatively new <laughs> at this. We're still relatively new on the human spectrum of history of having discovered one another and identifying ourselves as a community that's worth fighting for and worth living for. I will simply state, free our people!